Hi everyone, I'm Madison from Sleepopolis and today I'll be reviewing the Casper Wave Hybrid Snow Mattress. As a hot sleeper myself, I'm really excited to review this cooling mattress. This hybrid bed is a new cooling take on Casper's original Wave Hybrid mattress, which is their luxury model. But is it actually as cooling as Casper says it is? To find out, I'm gonna put it through some tests for quality and feel, plus tell you which sleepers I'd recommend it to at the very end of my review. You can find a more detailed written review of this bed, great discount codes, and a link to Casper's website by clicking the links in the description below. So one of my big concerns when choosing a mattress is whether or not it's a high quality bed. To decide if the Casper Wave Snow is a high quality, well-made mattress, I'm going to evaluate it layer by layer in this section of my review. And I will say all these materials are meant to be super cooling, so we're going to evaluate just how cooling this mattress is right here in this section as well. So I'll start off with the cover. This is a quick cool cover infused with phase change material. So it's designed to really dissipate body heat. To me, it actually feels a bit heavy to the touch, but I think combined with everything else in this bed, you'll get a pretty cooling feel overall. So next up is gonna be a comfort layer made of airscape foam. This is infused with even more phase change material, so it's extra cooling. And to me, it definitely does feel cool to the touch. Also soft and pressure relieving, which is something I like. And below that is a layer of really bouncy, supportive natural latex foam. And it's hole punched as well as the top layer to help promote even more airflow. And this latex layer includes six heat delete bands that are also designed to dissipate body heat up more towards the middle of the mattress. So this layer also super cooling. And then below that is a layer of zoned memory foam. This layer is going to feel softer at the shoulders and towards the feet and firmer at the hips to offer you extra back support and extra pressure relief in the shoulder area, which is really nice for sleepers with back pain. And this layer is also aerated for a little bit of extra breathability, has a nice slow response to pressure as well. Below that is a layer of polyfoam that includes special gel pods in the center of the mattress. And those pods are designed to give you even more lumbar support and help you keep your spine in a nice straight line which again is a really great feature for sleepers with back pain. And below that is a layer of pocketed coils protected by some additional foam edge support, which I'll talk about next. And I will say those coils are super breathable, help promote even more airflow throughout this bed. So as you can see, all of the materials in this 13 inch mattress are super cooling. And based on my personal experience with the bed, they really do work to cool down your sleeping environment. And before I zip this bed back up, I do wanna say Casper had a few supply chain issues when they launched these models. So if you get a Casper mattress and it is not decompressing all the way, you should unzip it. Take a look at the foams. If they are not expanded like this, something's wrong with your bed and you should send it back. Casper has a great customer service, so they'll get you a new mattress ASAP. I will also say when you unzip your bed, don't cut open the fire sock or separate the foams like I did because you avoid your warranty and you don't wanna do that. Edge support is another important quality factor. Edge support is a measure of whether or not you're gonna be able to sleep all the way on the side of your bed and still feel supported. This helps evenly distribute your weight to increase your bed's lifespan. Overall, I would say this mattress had pretty good edge support. I definitely felt supported on the side of the bed. So based on its construction and edge support, I would estimate that this Casper Wave Hybrid Snow Mattress is gonna last you about 10 to 12 years. Next up, let's get into what you are really curious about, how this mattress feels. Keep in mind here that feel is subjective, so someone lighter or heavier than I am might experience feel a little bit differently than I do. Now I'm gonna kick things off by talking about firmness because that's a really great indicator of a bed's overall feel. Personally, I gave this bed a six out of 10 on the mattress firmness scale. The industry standard for medium firmness is 6.5 out of 10, which means this is a medium soft to soft mattress. I would personally say that back sleepers should feel really comfortable on this mattress. I felt really great. Those gel pods in there are really working to keep my back in a nice straight line. If you suffer from back pain and sleep on your back, I think this mattress is a great option for you. Similarly on my side, I've personally felt really comfortable, got enough pressure relief from those soft hot foams and felt my spine falling into that nice neutral alignment that I look for. So I would also recommend this bed for side sleepers. 
Turning onto my stomach, I did feel my hips sinking into that top foam a bit, which can lead to a bend in your back that can lead to pain over time. So stomach sleepers, I would steer you to a firmer Casper mattress. Next up, I wanna talk about bounce. This is another really important feel factor because it tells you whether you're gonna feel like you're on top of your bed or kind of hugged by your mattress. So to test out bounce, I bounced a steel ball down on the bed. And as you can see on the screen, this bed about averagely bouncy, so not the bounciest bed in the world, not the least bouncy bed in the world, but personally, I think combination sleepers should feel okay, have an easy time moving around and changing positions at night. I think it hits a really happy medium between some body contouring pressure relief and some nice springy support. Bounce is really closely related to something called motion transfer. So if you sleep with a partner, motion transfer is a measure of whether or not you're gonna feel disturbed when they get out of bed, get into bed, or move around at night. So to measure motion transfer, I use a seismometer and I also have our camera woman and my friend Rachel hop in bed next to me so I can see if her moving around bothers me at all. So based on both of those tests, I would say the wave has pretty good motion transfer. Small movements, I don't think you're gonna feel and if you do, that motion will dissipate really quickly but larger movements like a partner getting in and out of bed, you'll probably feel that at night. And the final feel factor I'm gonna talk about is pressure relief. Pressure relief is a measure of how evenly distributed your weight is gonna be on a bed. This is super important for side sleepers because it measures how much pressure will build up at sensitive areas like the shoulders and hips overnight. And to measure pressure relief, I use a pressure map. And you're gonna see that map range from blue in low pressure areas to red in high pressure areas. Keep in mind that again, I might be a little bit more lightweight or a little bit heavier than some sleepers. So those folks might experience more or less pressure than I did on any given bed. So looking at that pressure map, you'll see there is actually some green around my hips, which surprised me a little bit. But what that tells me is that strict side sleepers might actually want a bed that's even softer, offers even more sinkage but side combination sleepers who only spend part of the night on their side should be really happy on this bed. So before we wrap up, I wanna leave you with some of my personal recommendations of who should sleep on the Wave Hybrid Snow Mattress. First up, if you are a hot sleeper, this mattress is definitely cooling. It uses a ton of cooling tech to keep you sleeping really comfortably throughout the night. So if that's something you struggle with, definitely check this Casper out. Next up, if you're someone who struggles with back pain, I think this Casper is an amazing option for you. It's super supportive. Those gel pods really do a lot to align your spine. And overall, I think it's really gonna help you either prevent or relieve a little bit of back pain because it really combines strong support with some pressure relief around your lumbar region. And finally, if you are a member of a couple, I think this mattress is a really great option for you because it has pretty good motion isolation, but it's still responsive enough to move around on, which is a nice perk, especially during sex. Plus it has firm edges and again is cooling, which are both great perks for couples. That said, I don't think this mattress is gonna be a perfect fit for everybody. So some reasons it might not be a great fit for you. I will say this is a luxury bed, so it does have a luxury price tag. If you're more of a budget shopper, I would steer you towards maybe the Casper original mattress. Similarly, if you want a memory foam feel with a ton of sinkage, I don't think this is the bed for you. It's a little bit too responsive for that. It is a hybrid mattress. And then finally, if you're a stomach sleeper, I think this mattress is gonna be just a little bit too soft for you. So if you are interested in purchasing the Wave Hybrid Snow, I wanna give you some quick info on Casper's company policies. First up, this mattress comes with a 100 night sleep trial. This bed is gonna ship for free. And finally, it comes with a 10 year warranty. And that is it for my review of the Casper Wave Hybrid Snow Mattress. If there's anything I didn't cover, let me know in the comments and check out the full written review by clicking the links below. Remember to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our new reviews or giveaway announcements. And of course, remember that you can always head over to sleepopolis.com for any of your sleep needs.